ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. It's time once again to put that power to the test here on K-Check! Ako po, si Attorney Gabby Concepcion. At ako naman po si Jules Giang and this is the Season 3 of K-Check. Dito sinisiguro namin may challenge para sa bawat contestant at viewer at laging may bagong natututunan habang pinagdadaanan ang challenge na yon. Kaya naman stick with us until the final week of this exciting competition to find out who our next K-Check champion will be. Ang apat nating daily winners ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na to. Kaila's interests can be summed up in one word, and that is food. Her bio states that she's a cookerist sis of Iris. We'll find out later what that means. Lagi niyang inayayaya ang kanyang mga friends na sila-sila ay mag-samgyup, di ba? And she loves to sing too, by the way. Si LJ naman, mathematics student at UP Diriman. In his free time, he likes to go to the gym, spend time with his boyfriend, and watch random movies and shows. He is passionate about promoting mathematics to everyone, including you, in any way that he can. Si Chacha naman is an aspiring production manager hailing from Oriental Mindoro, currently pursuing her passion for theater arts in UP Diliman. Apart from her academic pursuits, Chacha actively engages in film productions and indulges in K-dramas, random TikTok videos, and of course, Harry Potter. Last but not least, Raymond is currently taking up BA Theater Arts in UP Diliman. Aside from the arts, he is also very fond of the sciences as well. His hobbies are watching movies, TV series, and reading. So these four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Firstly, we have Professor Glessy Atienza of the College of Arts and Letters from UP Diliman. Next, we have Professor Neil Santelian, former chairperson of the UP Diliman Department of History. And finally, we have Assistant Professor Marla Endriga of the Department of Biology from UP Manila. At ngayon, contestants, narito na ang first round, which is also your first opportunity to earn points. So, let's, let's begin! begin. Question number one. What is the common surname of the following people? Hollywood actor Bradley, singer Alice, Al J. Pip. The answer is incorrect. Raymond. Cooper. Actor Bradley, singer Alice, and political commentator Anderson. The correct answer is Cooper K. Check. Question number two in music. What do you call a composition suggestive of night, typically for piano? Aljay. Sonata. The answer is incorrect. Anybody want to steal? The correct answer is nocturne. Question number three. What term for a former member of the armed forces gives its name to the one-week celebration from April 5 to 11. LJ. Veteran. Veteran is the correct answer. K-check. Question number four. In March 2024, a record heat index of 63.2 degrees Celsius was recorded in Rio de Janeiro. In what South American country can you find Rio de Janeiro? Aljay. Brazil. Brazil is the correct answer. Hot, hot Brazil. Brazil is the correct answer. K-check. Question number five. This time in mental math. What is the area in square units of a triangle having a base of 16 and altitude of 20? Aljay. 160 square units. 160 square units is the correct answer. K-check. Question number six. The law that states that an electric current through a conductor between two points is directly proportional to the potential difference, LJ? Ohm's law. Are you sure? <laughs> Nakakahawa si Prof. Marla, are you sure? Not anymore. Huwag ka nang magpalit ng sagot. Ohm's law is the correct answer. K-check. Question number seven. 
Record flood waters have ravaged the city of Orsk, 1,800 kilometers east of Moscow, when the Ural River overflowed in April 2024. In what country can you find Orsk? The correct answer is Russia. Question number eight. Which A-list Hollywood actor was married to Angelina Jolie from 2014 to 2019? Al J. Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt is the correct answer. K. Check. Oh. Diba? With determination and conviction, Brad Pitt. Question number nine. What city hosts about 10,000 athletes in 32 sports at the 2024 Olympics between July and August? Algae. Paris. Paris is the correct answer. K check. Question number 10. What 130 meter high dam in North Sagaray, Bulacan, that supplies potable water to Metro Manila, saw its water level drop to a critical 190 meters? Last April. Angatnam. Angatnam is the correct answer. K check. Question number 11. In what continent can you find the areas of conflict, Congo and Sudan? Africa. The correct answer is Africa. K check. Twelfth and last question for this round. What term is given to a rectangular array of numbers arranged in rows and columns or Yes, LJ. Matrix. Or a movie franchise starring Keanu Reeves? The correct answer is Matrix K check. And that's it for our exciting first round. Maraming salamat, Attorney Gabby. So after that round, Al J is leading with 70 points, followed by Raymond with 20 points, Kyla with 10 points, and Chacha, pwede ka pang humabol sa susunod na round. One round down, two more to go, and in the end, we will reveal our first weekly winner for this season. Itutuloy natin ang competition ito sa pagbabalik ng K-Check! At tuloy pa rin ang ating karunungan check. At this point, we have Alja in the lead with 70 points, Raymond with 20, followed by Kyla with 10, and Chacha with some catching up to do. And now it's time for round two contestants. Remember, there is a twist in this round. Each correct answer is worth 20 points, but you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. So, let's begin. This is round two. Let's begin. Question number one. What is the name of the cartoon cat created by Jim Davis that has an animated movie released in 2024? Raymond. Garfield. Garfield is correct. K check. Question number two. Which Filipino politician gained fame for mediating the Pact of Biak na Bato and being elected president of the Malolos Congress in 1898? The correct answer is Pedro Paterno. Question number three. What six-letter word with no regular vowels describes the lining up of three celestial bodies like what happened during the April 8, 2024 solar eclipse? Aljay. Sizaji. Sizaji is correct. K check. Question number four. What Central American Republic is the first country in the world to adopt Bitcoin as its official currency? The correct answer is El Salvador. Question number five. What mystical island in Central Visayas is the third smallest province in the Philippines in terms of population and land area? Alge. Sikihor. Sikihor is correct. K-check. Question number six. 
what term is given to the theoretical lowest possible temperature equivalent to zero Kelvin or about 273 degrees below zero Celsius? The correct answer is absolute zero. Question number seven. What is the popular instant messaging and VoIP or voice over internet protocol social platform that is named after a word meaning lack of harmony. The correct answer is Discord. Okay, question number eight. Which Venezuelan military leader is known as the liberator of South America because he led Colombia, Venezuela, Ecuador, Peru, Panama, and Bolivia to independence from Spain. The correct answer is Simon Bolivar. Question number nine. The 2024 film, partially titled One Love, tells the story of which great reggae singer and songwriter? Raymond. Bob Marley. Bob Marley is correct. K check. Question number 10. In science, what term describes a body part that used to have a function but is mostly not used anymore, like the appendix? The correct answer is vestigial. Question number 11. Known as the Oracle of Omaha, who is the CEO of Berkshire Hathaway, whose net worth of 139 billion US dollars in April 2024 made him the ninth richest person in the world? The correct answer is Warren Buffett. Question number 12. Which city is home to the Chiefs who defeated the San Francisco 49ers at the 2024 NFL Super Bowl? The correct answer is Kansas City. And that ends round two. And we're back. Kumustahin naman natin ang ranking ng ating mga contestants. We do have LJ leading with 110 points, followed by Raymond with 60, Kylo with 10, and Chacha with a lot of catching up to do. So, the next round is really something to watch out for. The ultimate pagalingan round is next here on K Check. Welcome back to K-Check. Again, a points recap. LJ leading with 110 points, Raymond with 60, Kyla with 10, and Chacha with some catching up to do. Pero meron pa tayong paparating na ultimate pagalingan round. That's right. Dito, correct answers are worth 30 points each at my 15-point deduction for wrong answers. Kaya naman, let's go for those points and for the win. In this round, we will accept the answer itself or the letter and the answer but not the letter only. Remember, sa ating panel of experts, magagaling ang mga katanungan. So, what are we waiting for? Let's, Let's begin. begin! Let's start our search for our first weekly winner on this ultimate pagalingan round. Professor Glessy. In music, rhythm pertains to the placement of sounds in time, generally considered as an ordered alternation of contrasting elements. In poetry, rhythm is considered as a salient aesthetic quality in choosing words to represent precise measure and meaning. What is the Tagalog term for rhythm commonly used in Tagalog poetry? Letter A, tiempo. Letter B, indayog. Letter C, Pulso, letter D, Hagod, and letter E, none of the above. Kaila. Letter A, 
letter A read mo. Ay, um, Chempo. Sorry, wrong answer. Anyone can steal? Raymond. Ina ng Zero Gold. Sorry, wrong answer. Algy or Chata, you can still answer. Algy. Indayog. The correct answer is Indayog. Kasama yan sa mga elemento ng pagtula. Okay, Jeff. Prof. Neil, it's your turn. Sinong pangulo ng Estados Unidos o United States ang bumuo ng Peace Corps at Food for Peace bilang mga mekanismo ng mga Amerikano laban sa paglaganap ng komunismo? A. Jimmy Carter B. Dwight Eisenhower C. Lyndon Johnson D. John Kennedy E. Richard Nixon Ang tamang sagot ay letter D, John Kennedy. Maraming salamat, Prof. Neil. Prof. Marla. Physics tayo. In which country is the Large Hadron Collider, or LHC, located? A. United States B. Italy C. Switzerland D. Germany E. Japan The LHC is the world's largest and most powerful particle accelerator found in C, Switzerland. So let's begin the second round. Nakakatense naman kasi ang mga questions ng experts natin. Sinabi pa lang ni Prof. Marla ang physics. Parang medyo tumigil ang pag-iisip ng mga tao. Second round, Prof. Glessie, let's begin it. Thank you. Okay, pelikula. Tinawag na poverty porn ang mga pelikula ni Lino Broca na tumalakay sa hirap ng mga informal settlers na pumunta sa Maynila upang maghanap ng magandang kapalaran. Ano ang pamagat ng pelikula ni Broca na tampok ang paghahanap ni Julio Madiaga kay Ligaya Paraiso? Letter A, Manila by Night. Letter B, Manila, Manila. Letter C, Maynila sa kuko ng liwanag. Letter D, Manila, Open City. And letter E, Manila Girl. Letter C, Maynila sa kuko ng liwanag. The answer is correct. Letter C, Maynila sa kuko ng liwanag. K-check. Professor Neil. Siya yung unang Pilipinong nagtapos sa U.S. Military Academy sa West Point na nagsilbing leader guerrilla laban sa mga Hapon at itinampok sa dating 1,000 peso bill. A. Roque Ablan B. Tomas Confesor C. Vicente Lim D. Salipada Pendaton E. Luis Taruk Vicente Lim. Ang tamang sagot ay letter C. Vicente Lim. K-check. Oh, masaya na si Professor Neil. Nasagot ang iyong nakaisa na. Prof. Marla, to end the second round of questions. Biology. Which cell organelle is responsible for degrading worn-out cellular components and macromolecules? A. Endoplasmic reticulum, B. Golgi apparatus, C. Lysosome, D. Peroxisome, E. Ribosome. Letter D. Peroxisome. Mali. Anyone can steal. The correct answer is C. Lysosome. Prof. Glassy. Okay, thank you. This play won first prize in a literary contest sponsored by the Spanish government in 1872. It was written by the young Jose Rizal, 
who demonstrated an Indio's deep understanding of European culture and history. What is this play? Letter A, La India Elegante y El Negrito Amante. B, La Vida de Leonor Rivera. Letter C, El Filibusterismo. Letter D, El Consejo de los Dioses. And letter E, Noli Metangere. A, La India Elegante y El Negrito Amante. Sorry, wrong answer. Anyone can steal? Pata. C, El Filibusterismo. Sorry, wrong answer. Kyla or Raymond? Kyla. Letter D, Consejo de los Dioses. The correct answer is El Consejo de los Dioses. K, check. But positive na ang score ni Kyla at 25. Prof. Neil. Akkad, Babylon, and Sumer are key cities of which civilization? A. Aztec, B. Indus Valley, C. Egypt, D. Mesopotamia, E. Persia. Raymond. Letter D. Mesopotamia. Okay, ang tamang sagot ay letter D. Mesopotamia. K. Check. Prof. Marla. Human genetics. What is the probability that two individuals who are heterozygous for an autosomal recessive trait will have an affected offspring? Okay. 25%. A, 0%. B, 25%. C, 50%. D, 75%. E, 100%. The correct answer is B, 25%. K, check. Wow. My impressive Prof. Marile. Oh, oh. Mukha niya, yung reaction. <laughs> With conviction, yes. si LJ. But before we start our fourth and final round, LJ leads with 185, Raymond with 90, Kyla with 25, and Chacha with negative 15. Prof. Glessy, let's start the fourth round. Thank you. Ang paghahanap ng krus na pinagpakuan ni Jesus ang iniikuta ng kwento ng sikat na pagtatanghal na ito. Ano ang tawag sa ritual na ito na paboritong isagawa tuwing tag-araw? Letter A, longhino. Letter B, pagpuputong. Letter C, Santa Cruzan. Raymond. Letter C, Santa Cruzan. Let me continue. Letter D, bulaklakan. And letter E, Tagayan. The correct answer is letter C, Santa Cruzan. K-check. Professor Neil. Sinong pambansang alagad ng sining para sa arkitektura ang nagdisenyo sa Greenbelt 1 na planong gigibain? A. Pablo Antonio B. Juan Nakpil C. Leandro Loxin D. Francisco Manosa, E. El Defonso Santos. Ang tamang sagot ay letter C. Leandro Loxi. Oh, maraming nalungkot yan sa proposed na pagiba ng Green Belt One, but only a certain generation will feel that sadness. <laughs> Professor Marla, for the last question for today's ultimate pagalingan round. Planetary science. What geological feature dominates the surface of Mars? A, oceans. B, mountains. C, deserts. D, ice caps. E, volcanoes. Okay. Deserts. The correct answer is C, Deserts. K-Check! Wow. And with conviction talaga si LJ, that's it for our K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan Round. Congratulations, LJ! Our first K-Check Weekly winner for this season with a final score of 215 points. Galeng! 
At siyempre, maraming salamat din sa mga contestants natin, Kyla, Chacha, and Raymond. Palakpakan natin sila. And to the members of our panel of experts, Professor Glessy, Professor Emil, and Professor Marla. Maraming salamat po. Thank you so much. Ako po si Jules Bia. Maraming salamat sa'yo. And of course, ako po si Attorney Gabby Concepcion. Join us again on Monday for another round here on K-Check. K -Check.